Welcome back to our video tutorials on HTML. We've been looking at tables in HTML and how to set them up. And we've looked at Dreamweaver's tools for creating tables and we also saw how to hand code a very simple table here. And you'll see the code that's along this area. Now in this video I want to talk about a couple of other simple things that you can place inside of the uh, table. Or table. And specifically, I want to start by talking about the caption tag and the scope attribute. Now, the caption for a table will place a row above your table that will actually act as a caption or a title. So I'm going to go ahead here and place the caption in between the opening table tag and the first row in my table. And I'm going to go ahead and type out caption. And the caption is going to be sample html table and I'm going to go ahead and close that caption and I'll save it and you're going to see when I go into design view there's now a caption on the top of my table and you're going to see it's centered over all of my columns if I go into live view you'll see the way it looks there come out of live view and notice this isn't actually part of the table it's actually a title row for your table now the next thing that I want to do is I want to begin to add some, some more semantic elements to this table. So I'm going to come back into code view here and you're going to see that I have some TH cells here. And actually the first row in my column is a header row. And these headers actually act as headers for the individual columns. But there's nothing inside of your code that says that this th is a header for the column and not a header for the row that comes after it. So you have to actually tell the browser whether what something is a um, heading for. And you do that again by coming into code and inside of each one of your ths you're going to want to use the scope attribute. And the scope is going to be of course column. And then again, I can use my copy and paste trick here. Not really a trick, but speeds things up. So now I've specifically said that each one of these header cells is a header for a column, not for a row. Now, there are actually three more semantic table tags that we want to look at right now. And they are T head, T body, and T foot. Now, in this case, we actually don't have a footer. So we'll always be looking at these two for this video T head and T body. So I'm going to come up here, and you're going to see that the caption and this first row of my table are actually the heading area of my table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click to the right of table and hit enter. And then I'm going to go ahead and open a T head tag right here. Now, the browser is going to consider everything to be header material until you actually close this T head. So I've encompassed the caption tag as well as the first row of the table. But I want to stop the heading right here. So I'm going to go ahead and close my T head. Now the rest of the rows here, rows 2, 3, and 4, are actually part of the body of my table. So again, I need to let the browser know that. And this is extremely important for people that need um, to use things like screen readers for accessibility. So there I've gone ahead and opened a tbody command tag, and then I'm going to go ahead and close it there. I'll save this. When we go into design view, you're not going to see anything different in your table. If I go into live view, again, nothing different here. The reason why we put things like tbody and thead is so that things like search engines and screen readers will know what's heading content, what's footing content, and what is um, 
body content. And if I had some footer information for my table, I could also place it in um, the T foot section. So let's say we want to put a copyright statement in our table. So I'm going to click up here to the right of T body and just hit enter one more time. And that'll bring me down. And I'm going to go ahead and do an opening TR and then again a closing TR. So I'm creating the row before I do anything else. And I'm just going to space myself out. And then I'm going to go ahead and open a TD here. And then, whoops. And then I'm just going to go ahead and type have a nice day. So that's going to be in my footer. And I close that data cell, save it. When I look at design view, you're going to see have a nice day is there. But this row actually just looks like it's one cell. And there's nothing over here. You can remember all the other rows had four data cells inside of them. But this row, this final row, I only defined one cell inside of. Let's go back in here to code view and you'll see that final row just has one cell inside of it. So what do I do if I want something like a caption but for the bottom row of my table or let's say I had some uh, column headings or row headings that encompass more than one column or more than one row. How would I deal with that? And the answer is you need to go into code view and the attribute that you're going to place on the TD cell is going to be the column span attribute. The call span attribute. And here I'm going to say this column spans two cells. And I'm going to save, go back into design view, and you're going to see now that cell looks like it goes all the way over and it's spanning two columns. That's almost what I wanted, but I actually want this to go all the way across. So I need to change that call span attribute to 4. I'll save it. Go back into design view. And now you can see that row goes all the way across. And I can go ahead and, you know, a quick round fox jumped over the lazy dog. You'll see it wraps also. I'm going to go ahead and take that out. Click back out here. Save it. So now I have a footer in my table. But there's no way for the browser to tell that's a footer without you actually saying so. So I'm going to come back in here to code view. And I'm going to click above that row. And I'm going to go ahead and put the T foot element in. And I'm going to close my T foot element right below that. And I haven't done very much indenting, but indenting can really help you when you're trying to work with these structural elements. There we go. So now I can see my T head section. I'll put a space in there. Remember, it ignores white space, so you can put as much spacing and as much indent in as you want. And there's my body region. And finally, there is my footer, my T foot region for my table. I'll save it. When we go into design view, you'll see no visible changes there. But this will greatly help you with search engines and assist users using adaptive technology.